What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Bootsy Rides and Power Slides. I know it's dark, I just got off work, and the spacers are in. Like I showed you guys already as I unboxed it. Alright guys, excuse the mess, but I am on my lunch break for work, so I am eating. Always oh, gotta eat that. That yogurt. This is exciting because sorry, what we got here are my wheel spacers. The wheel spacers have arrived. Woo! They're massive! Because I have two pairs. Alright, so these right here, these are billet aluminum hub-centric spacers. So as you can see right here, it has this little hub right here. This is a centering hub, the centering hub for your the, the wheel bore on the back of your wheel is a hub centric spacer. You always want to get a hub center or it's an adapter, sorry, a hub centric spacer slash adapter. You always want hub centric so your wheels sit on this and all the stress is not just on the lugs. They're 5 by 114.3, the thread switch is 12 by 1.5, and they are 38 millimeters each, which is huge. That's like an inch and a half, just under. I think it's like an inch and one inch, 0.45 something, I don't know. Hub rings for a 67.1 to 73.1, which I will show you guys later. These ones, I'm going to bring to work and I'm gonna put on the fronts at work so you guys will not see that, but I need to know how they fit. And these rear ones, I will wait till I get back home and put them on at home so you guys can see that. All right, you guys, I'll explain more when I get back. These are billet aluminum 38 millimeter spacers. They are hub centric, so they are two types of like there's an adapter and then there's a spacer. A spacer does not get bolted onto the hub. It gets bolted when the wheel gets bolted on. These adapters, they bolt onto the hub and then the wheel bolts onto this. So you can torque these down. So that's what, that's what I'm going to do. And again, I also got, these are called hub rings. These go over these hub-centric little hubs like this so it centers the wheel on here because my wheel is uh, a 73, a 73.1 center bore, and this, for my actual car, is a 67.1 center bore. So this hub, uh, this hub ring makes that 67.1 to a 73.1, just by doing that. All right, cool. Now we're gonna get into putting these things on. It's very straightforward. It's like putting on a wheel. All you do is bolt it on, torque it down and then put your wheels on top of it. So this is how the spacer works, or the adapter. So literally, has the holes for your wheels. Put it like this, should be centered. And you're gonna take your, your socket. You know, obviously when you bolt things on, you obviously wanna do things in a star pattern. This is no different. And I'm excited. This right here is the testament as if my measurements were correct. This should sit really nice, and I'm really hoping that my measurements are correct. And uh, this is how we're gonna find out. So it's it's nerve-wracking and like exciting at the same time. So after you get it on there, you're gonna wanna torque it. Now after you torque it, so you come get your hub ring right here, and you literally place it over the hub, make sure it sits flush on there. You're cool. And now, Time to put the wheel back on. So all you gotta do is torque down your wheels and you're done. It's a little bit too dark for us to film, but I'm just gonna do the same exact thing on the other side and we'll be good. Just drop the car and we'll show you guys what it looks like. Alright guys, so now that the wide body kit is on, the spacers are on, the car is all dropped on the ground, everything is torqued, and obviously we've driven here. We're gonna walk around the car, show you guys what it the final product looks like. I know it's not painted yet, but what the final like wide body on the car looks like. And I'll show you guys that right now. Falling in love is wonderful. Falling in love is wonderful. So they say. Okay. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this episode of Booster Rides and Power Slides. And 
going to conclude our series of wide body, how to wide body your cars and how to install wide body fenders. So it took us four long days of cutting, drilling, riveting, and just going through some crazy, you know, it was, it was a lot more work than I expected. But here's the finished product. It looks awesome. And I'm more than excited. So if you guys like this video and you guys like this video series, smash that like button, share these videos, leave a comment down below, subscribe. We'll catch you guys next time. We have.